This is a game that I already demoed. I demoed it like over a year ago now, I think. And I really enjoyed it. It's it's a deck builder and you know, you know I'm in a deck building. I think this might have been a request from somebody. Or we, we got an email or something because a Kickstarter was coming up. And I did it just as the Kickstarter went live, I believe. I did the demo just as it went live. I really enjoyed the game. Um, it was a bit easy because the it wasn't very well balanced at that point. But my and it also had sick metal music behind it. But um, my brother messaged me like, "Hey, have you played this Nadia demo?" And I was like, "Yep, yeah, long time ago, really cool." And then we were talking about it, and he's like, "What are you talking about? It's nothing like that." I was like, "What?" That's, that's what I played, and I sent him the video, and he watched it, and he was like, "No, the game is totally different now, and it has lots of lots of cool things." So obviously, successful Kickstarter campaign, I believe. Obviously, from there, they've really worked hard at it because apparently it's like a whole new thing. So let's check it out. So this is the second time I'm playing this game, but the demo should be should be like a new game. Hmm. All right, I do remember you chose these characters. Yep. Um, no, you didn't choose it. You had three. You had to play the game with like three characters. So I can choose a sin. Hernan. Oof. Is that as in Cortez? Oscar? What's that as in? And Jean de Arc, the Liberator, hero, saint, and heretic. A symbol of faith and virtue betrayed by her fellow Christians and damned for an eternity in hell. Later, sainthood could not change her faith. The deed was done, her fate decided. So I get to choose that sin? Um, but what does that do? What does What do the different sins do? Because it doesn't seem to have any benefit here. I see my character, and I see my starting deck. But when I played this last time, you played with three characters. So very strange. What the hell? It's just one guy? Okay, no, this is this is a whole different game. Um, because we were we were three characters, and we were on the other side of the screen, and I'm pretty sure we were fighting sins. And I was fighting greed or something like that um, as a boss. So this is... It's a tough fight, but I still have an ace up my sleeve. Let's choose one card. Um, choose a card. Well, we've, we've only applied two weak. Deal five damage. What do you mean choose one card? I guess we're going to make him weaker. I must aim at the Stella of the same color as my... Uh, okay, as Stella. One of these tombs at the top, these kind of gravestones. A character with rust loses one armor for each point of rust after playing a card, then the rust value is reduced by one. What? To use your card, you have to select one of the stones called Stellas. As with cards, they come in two versions, Sacrum and Profanum. You can only play a Sacrum card on a Sacrum Stella Profan. Okay, understood. But this is going to deal three damage to me if I use it because it's this direction. So, uh, that hurt. Each time I play a card, the enemy will react. I must plan my moves. So is this that the, I'm choosing how the, en the enemy reacts, basically? Is that what it means? Each time you play a card on Stella, the enemy will react. Look at the Stella's effect to find out how the enemy... Okay, so I get to choose how the enemy reacts. That's interesting. That is that is interesting. I did change the marker. I didn't change the tag. Because I think it's just live, like demos and games. Okay. Stella will turn around to changing the combat situation. Okay. So I can... Rust minus three... Is fine because one armor. I don't even know what armor I have currently. So, rust three. I can always redraw my hand when I'm out of options. How many times can I do that in combat? And that armor for. The card's been dealt. Let's finish it. Okay. Let's do three damage three times. It costs two. Everything's to me. Everything's to me, which isn't good. Because I'm going to take... So what's my armor? Is it 18? Is that my armor? Okay. 
rest of the fight is up to you. Good luck. You know, it'd be great if you could go away and I could read what Rusty does again, but I guess... Okay, there we go. Thank you. A card of Rust loses one armor for each point of Rust after playing a card. Ah, after playing a card. So, can I ask... Soul shards can be spent. Play a card about triggering a Stella. Unlock a new skill. Can I ask... What's the point of mana? And what does the mana do? What does mana do? And how much of it do I have? Is this mana? No, it's base strength. So what is, what's the difference between this costing one and this costing two? Is it that it's going to do two damage twice? Two damage star times? I, I don't know. All right, I'm going to do this. Three damage three times, so it's going to do nine damage. If this does four damage back to me, then we understand. Three damage back to me. What? Now I'm even more confused. It shows the only one that made no sense. Um, gain two rage. Two damage two times. But what is the number here? What does this mean? Increase character's strength by rage. Yeah, no, no, I know that. No shit, but... Two damage two times. Four damage. Two damage. Four, six damage. What the fuck is going on, guy? Okay, deal seven damage and just be shielded. I definitely said seven damage. Not sure why it did. Oh, it was weak, maybe. Um, decrease character strength by weak stat. So what is what strength? Base three. What does weak do, bro? What does weak do? <laughs> Fuck me. There's pretty obviously things that I need to know here. Start the game with like attack and defend, like Slay the Spire. You can play an attack card, you can play a defense card. You've already started going all in on status effects, dude. I can't. What the hell? Blocked. And then I've got more rust. My armor's going. Gain two rage. I really need to attack, but for some reason, oh, because the Stellas are there, I can't attack. Uh, I don't have a red Stella. Can I re-roll Stellas? Oh, I can. Okay. What? What? And now, but why can't I use my red card still? <laughs> the. This is not the way to teach your game. This is incredible. I'm so confused. I don't know what any. I don't know what anything does. I don't know what strength means. I don't know why we start the fight with a bunch of armor and then it starts whittling it down. I don't understand why there's mana. I don't understand why this button flipped the cards over and then refuses to go back. But it changed from blue, which means I can use blue cards, to red, which means I can still use blue cards. What? What are you doing? I broke the game. Because it still won't let me use the red cards for no reason. The game doesn't realize I've clicked. Not a good start. Lewis, you lied to me. Um, it's a tough fight. Yeah, 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 whatever, yeah. Great, cool. Oh, that hurt. Did it? Because I'm pretty sure he just added an armor. Um, gain to rage. Rust. Gain, apply a weak. Okay. I can always redraw my hand when I'm out of options. Wait, one sec, one sec, one sec. The card's been dealt, let's finish it. Okay. Oh, dude, I figured it out. I can't use this because it needs two red Stellas available. 
But if I flip them, we've press it, but this this will break the game because this button's not supposed to work. Um, if I flip them, this should be red, blue, red, and then I'd have two red Stellas, and I could use this card. I get it. You still only choose one of the Stellas, but there's got to be two available, is what I'm thinking. Because look, you see both of those. Or is it's not going to trigger both of them. You still only pick one, I think. But yeah, so Rust three. It's going to go up to six or whatever. Yep, five, whatever. 18 damage, gain a rage, and it's working because there's three red Stellars. Well, that's okay, even if you shielded. Wait, excuse me? Oh, it prevents all damage. It's not a block count. Okay, well, that sucks. Um... Um, 10 damage, but he's still shielded, so this still sucks. Um... One damage. Can your shield go away now? I think my strength is too low. Gain two rage. Brilliant. One damage two times. I'm going to take actual damage now. Six damage three times. Rust. Where are my friggin' attack cards? It might be awesome if this arrow worked. What does Rust even do now? I don't have... I don't have any armor, so Rust is worthless. Which is great for me, I guess. One damage. And then I kill you. Now it's time to claim your reward. You can choose one of the three presented cards, select the one you like, and confirm the choice with the A button. Playing with a mouse and keyboard. Who plays card games with a controller? Unless you're playing on Switch, I guess, but even then, bleh. You can use the touch screen. Delay counter. Delay counter. Gain five counter after redraw. What's delay? After, okay, so heal 10, but after that, delay for rage. This is all annoying. Introducing so much. Okay. For rage after redraw. What's a, is a redraw the thing at the bottom? For rage is pretty nice. Counter, I don't know what that means. But five, I mean, it, five defense is insane because it's like you can get hit five times. If five counter is the same as that, this seems broken. So we'll take it. Ha ha ha. Your journey starts. You have entered Ndia, the underworld city of hell. To make your path to the bottom, you will have to fight demons. But you may also find a friendly merchant or a place to rest. First encounter on each circle has to be a battle. But afterward, you can choose any of the available events. Or you can go deeper. Can't go back to a higher circle. Okay. So I can't go to a shop. Because it has to be a combat. Blight Maggot. You can spend soul shards to play a card without triggering a stellar. Think of it as a free turn to do something under the enemy's radar. Keep in mind that soul shards can also be spent for the character progression. Alright, so we definitely want to wave character progression. Let's get delay counter and we'll give this five damage immediately. We'll give him a rage one. Makes his strength go up. Um, gain three shielded. That seems pretty nuts also. So why don't we four damage, but we'll shield. So then we'll go down to two. And now we can start doing stuff. Deal damage and gain a rage. Absolutely, brother. Um, six damage. Hit me. All right, gain two more rage. Don't mind if I do. Um, rage one, you can you can go up by one. That's fine. All right. Deal eight damage. I'm still shielded, so we can do that. Apply two weak would be nice, but I would take five damage. Don't want him to get a rage. But five damage is okay. We've got the shield, so it's okay. 
So what does what does shield do? Because I didn't take five damage, I took three, but I took it to shield. Yeah, they really haven't introduced they've introduced like concepts of you can play a card and then choose what the enemy's gonna do, but it doesn't like very basic concepts like how does strength apply and how does what how does a shield work and how does it come back? Which seem like very early stage things you need to learn. Four damage three times. Well, this is better. We don't want to rage him still. You know what? Rage, rage is up. I can rage him again. I don't want the two damage two times. Ten damage. I only need to do ten more damage. And we can reshuffle so I get a counter. Now, what does counter do? A character with counter attacks back when hit. Yeah. So, deal ten damage. And gain a rage. Goodbye. Abandon all hope, all ye who enter here. Ye yes, yes, yes. That's an achievement I just got. Win your first fight. That is carved into the gates of hell in Dante's Inferno, in case you didn't know. Obviously in line. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. What is Anathema? Um, a card with burn, while well, we have to discard pile, it's going to be used. Eliminate the target's highest buff. Regroup. Remove any panic and circle intimidation or bind the damned effect. But I'm going to gain too weak. <laughs> oh, 13 damage. But then it becomes burned. Dizzy will trigger a selected Stella to rotate tw twice. That's fine. Also, I could I make them rotate so they only rotate to the next color so I can control that. That's more interesting. Character development. Develop your character unlock new skills. Yeah. So I have seven soul shards, so I can buy this. It's not available in the prologue, excellent. Not available in the prologue, excellent. Not available in the prologue, excellent. Not available in the prologue. Excellent. Not available in the prologue. Excellent. <laughs> Can I choose something? What's this? Be sure domination. Strength by two is pretty nice. Don't know what any of this means. Initial armor by ten is pretty good. Let's do that. Black. But yeah, this is not even the same game. This is just a totally different game. We'll do another fight. Yeah, they're, they're just completely re- I wonder why, because I liked having the three guys and the three different decks that were kind of shuffled together. That's what made it interesting. This is just Slay the Spire. <laughs> I don't know what Lewis was telling me. Like, he was really excited about me playing this, but it's very much just Slay the Spire, I feel. Let me, uh, let me show you something. If I go to the YouTubes and I go YouTube, for some reason, it goes straight to my DreadX video. Yes. Nadia Dark Zero TV. Time, Time is. Shh. Shh. Past Ian. Shh. Okay. We're here with Nadia. Thank you there for you your go. interest in Nadia. So, this is what Nadia used to look like. You see that? You have the Virgin, and these are the enemies. And yes, the cards were still as complex. They had a lot of stuff going on. But you can see there's two cards from each character. And um, they all did different things, and they all worked together in kind of... Kind of really well. I really I really enjoyed it. It was cool. The leader and the poet. And they all had different health. Um, so you could, like, try to shield certain characters, and other ones would get hit instead. Um... But yeah, apply Vanish so that somebody wouldn't get hit. This was like the boss. And it had three different targets. Two threat points. Apply Vanish to an ally. I'll taunt to an ally so an ally would always get attacked because it was taunting. But then you could Vanish somebody else so they wouldn't take damage. And it was really cool because you're playing with these three different characters. And now what I'm seeing is that we're just playing Slay the Spire. I wonder why it's changed so much. Is that an ass? Um, I think it's like titties, right? It's like man pecs. 
Uh, but yeah, okay. Five armor. Oh, this guy has 40 armor. Okay. We want to gain two rage. And then three damage three times is okay. Gain three shielded would be nice. So why don't we do this first? 15 damage and rust, but rust three also. Okay, so we'll do this. And then this should change to blue if I'm not mistaken. I don't know why it did so much damage. It was supposed to do 15, but it wiped out my shield. But now they're all blue, so I can gain three shielded. And gain, you know, he can gain five armor, whatever. And now for some reason they all changed around. Is that that's because it cost three, so three of them swapped around. I understand. I'm getting it. Three damage, three armor. Six damage is better. Three damage three times. I wish I had more rage. Okay. Need more rage. Six damage once again to me. And this is 14 damage and gain a rage. So you can do 15 damage to me and give him rust because I've still got shielded. That should do a lot of damage to him. Okay, looking good. I'm no longer shielded. What's Fnatic for? Gain armor points equal to Fnatic value each time you deal damage with a card. Okay. Um. Weak two to me. Well, if I gain two rage and then two weak, isn't that the same thing? It's just nothing. Feels like it is. Deal eight damage. Delay five counter. And then we'll shuffle so we get the counter. And then 20 damage. How about that? <laughs> Here's 20 damage. Goodbye. There's a lot going on. There's a lot, like, of... Already there's a lot of keywords interacting, I think. Gain shielded stealth. Shield prevents all damage from the next attack except piercing. But stealth will not trigger an enemy reaction written on the stellar used to activate the card. Oh, weird. Three damage, two times gain is shielded. I've got too many red cards right now, so... But this is... This is not good. <laughs> the, the reason it's not good... Is because it's going to give me one shield and stealth. But one shield just isn't good enough, is it? Because I'm going to just take damage to use the card. So what's the point? Skip. A shop. And is this... Oh, this is separate. Okay. Ten armor and two protection. Protection status. Okay. Okay. All armor gained by a character protection is increased by the stat's value. That's pretty awesome. Deal damage equal to your armor times two, then reduce our armor to zero. <clears throat> Not good. Not good right now. Exploit. We want blue cards, though. Maim. Three damage two times and apply a weak. That's not so bad. I think I like this. Scale armor. Seek and ye shall find achievement. And then also 30 pieces of silver achievement. We all know 30 pieces of silver is how much Judas sold. Purchase any card in the shop, that one. Sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Good references. I think I like this. I'll take that as well. And we'll go down, to, we'll descend. Heal, 8 HP, that's nice. Do a combat. Hellhound. 25 and 25. So yeah, I don't know how armor works at all, really. 13 damage, burn and dizzy. Okay. I, I can give you three armor. I'm going to do 13 damage anyway. But then this is going to turn back to a blue card, which is nice. Oh no, because it's red. So breaking. Damage dealt with breaking is applied only to armor. If the damage is if the damage is blocked by shielded effect, reduce shielded stats to zero. Well, I don't mind that. 12 breaking on my armor. Okay. Apply. Deal 5 damage. Let's apply 2 weak. Now, you can take 3 armor. 2 weak. Uh, 
and I want to apply another two weak. I can take six damage. Three piercing goes through, obviously. That's fine, but six damage is the only thing I can do. So six, it only does four, because I, I don't know why. I think it just takes off two. It, like, reduces it by 30%, 33% or something. Ten damage and a rage, but I'm going to gain five armor. That's fine. Breaking's fine. They're going to all turn blue, so I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to change my uh, hand. Into rage is fine actually as well. Three armor. You can take more. Th you can take more armor. I'll get my rage up. And then four damage three times is pretty nice. I can give him a little bit of armor. Three piercing is good, but not good enough. Four eight twelve. Obviously, this is gonna do. So if you get some armor, and I'd still hit you anyway. Change it blue. Gain three shielded. You can gain three armor. That's fine. But now it's time for me to go crazy. Do some damage to you. Because I've got eight breaking, but I've got shielded. Oh no, breaking goes through shielded. I screwed up. No, it didn't go through shielded. Okay. Awesome. Three piercing. I've got shielded. And three pierce, nine breaking, whatever, three piercing. You're dead. Okay, delay 15 armor. That's nice, because it's, it's cheap. I did like the counter, but uh, delay 15 armor is pretty nice. I think I'm going to take... No, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. Shop, upgrade, deck change, upgrade. I want to upgrade. Wait, Amber. This is cards, right? So I could get rid of some basic cards, which is what I usually do in deck builders, but I want to see what the upgrades are like. Here you can elevate your damage to exalted version if you possess enough soul shards to the upgrade. Only basic versions can be upgraded. So what is this? Dragger damned? I don't... All right, well, that's great. So I can't do that. Sell? I don't know what a damned is, and I don't see anything here. Forge a damned. He can forge the most powerful damned in the game. I... Active? What do you mean? So none of this works. Medium forge. Choose one of the damned to keep. Okay. Now, I, now I've got it. It's, it's a relic. Once per battle, when your armor is reduced to zero, zero gain five rage. Really like that. At the start of a battle, the enemy gains one profanity. At the start of the battle, the enemy gains one desecrate. You know what would be excellent? If I knew what any of those keywords mean. How many times, deck builder developers, how many times? Doesn't matter where you are in the game. Doesn't matter you're in the main goddamn menu. If you hover over a keyword, you need an information box. Doesn't matter if you're buying stuff, selling stuff, upgrading stuff, just checking your deck, just looking in the main menu at all the different cards that are available. Every, every time you hover, there needs to be like a class in the game that is a spe special text that no matter where it is and it hovers over it, something pops up on the screen and it's an information box that tells you what that keyword means. It's mad. It's insane how many deck builders don't understand that. I don't know what this means. I can't take it. It's useless to me. I like how this is Emmanuel Kant, though. Uh, I guess they're all uh, philosophers. Remove your highest debuff after redraw. Start the battle again. Intimidation. Oh, great. What's intimidation? Nobody knows. One to rule them all. Um, possess a damned as a reward. So I paid a lot of money for that damned. Reduce the size of your deck. Removing cards not suitable. Well. Two important rules. The deck cannot have less than confirm cards. What's that? The difference between sacrament crafting and cards in the deck cannot be larger than confirm. What's confirm? Is this confirm? What's confirm cards? Com com current difference plus minus. Maximum difference two. Is that confirm? What do you mean confirm? Minimum deck size 8. Okay, I think that's a, a typo. We can... 
remove this. Can I remove some other things? Too weak. We've got a lot of like weak and rage and stuff. Yeah. Dude, how many of these can we remove? Can I remove all of those? <gasps> Holy shit, it let me remove all of them. That's awesome. Alright, three damage, two times. Dizzy and stealth. Amplify one. Increase the value of all buffs on the target by the amplify value. Damn, I would like that. It was revert. Rotates all of them to show the other side. That's fine. Eight piercings, nice. Five damage three times. What's flank? Creates a flank card and adds them to your draw pile. They will stay in your deck until the end of battle. You know what would be also really nice? When you have an informational that adds another card to your deck, you need to show me what the other card is. It's it's the same exact thing. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. What is flank? What is flank? You know, if I go to Roguebook and it says add, add a dagger to your deck, everywhere it shows you that you can add a dagger to your deck, it also shows you what a dagger card looks like. Just a mini version of the artwork of the card right next to the information box. Pretty obvious stuff. That's all I'm saying. It's pretty obvious stuff. That's all I'm saying. It's just maddening how many times people don't get that right. I mean, we can try it. Seems cool. Five damage three times and flank. If flank's good. If it's not, this is a really bad card, but I and I'll never know, so. But I think eight piercing's very important. This just updated. That one, the numbers here were wrong until I got that card in my deck. That's funny. Let's descend. Oh dear. Okay. Fight a powerful demon. Well, we'll do that afterwards. Fight Parasite Head again. The little being floating by your side is a dam. One of the miserable inhabitants of Nadia. Each damned is unique and has special abilities which alter your tactics. Look for different dams. Yep. And this one, once per battle, when your arms reduce to zero. Love it. Really like that. 13 damage is pretty nice. 10 armor, 2 protection. We're going for this immediately. I can give him one shield. I can give him one shield. Yep, this is what we want. Um, four damage weak one. Rust four is better. Get rid of his shield. Very nice. And then I'm going to try and... Um, deal the 13 damage burn and dizzy. So, four damage weak one. We can do that. The burn, hopefully, is good. Uh, I mean, the, the dizzy is, is good. Yep, four damage weak one. That's nice. Gain two rage. Take eight damage. I could do that. I can do that. The weak should go down. Any damage is resolved. Mm -hmm. So I have to use it. Delay 15 armor. Can also rust 4 to get more armor. That's nice. But now we're going to lose the master slash. However. I could. I could use this to get 16 damage and bleeding 3. 16 damage is not that bad right now. And I'm going to apply a weak. Because I have my shield, so... Yep, yeah, barely. And now I should get rage. Yep, yeah, this triggered, so my rage is insane. And now I should just be able to murder you. With rust. Bye. And I got 15 armor on refresh. Cool. On a shuffle. I really like this. I really like this card. I also really like this card. Delay 4 Rage. Also pretty cool. Let's go for it. You know what? Nah, no, let's skip. The deck's fine. Character development. Old chest. Oh, it's another guy. How many am I allowed to equip, though? Because obviously they've got these things about them. These blue. And I don't know what 4, 3, 4 means. Um, every time you play weak, gain a counter... Every time you deal 10 or more damage to an enemy, create one Holy Strike card. You know what would be nice? <laughs> Nietzsche. Uh, if there's three Sacrum Stellas visible at the end of a turn, deal four damage to the enemy. It's cool, but uh, I think it'd have to make it, we'd have to build a deck around that a little bit more. I think just straight, every time you play a weak, gain a counter is nice. Fight a powerful demon. Let's try it, shall we? Hopefully we'll get more Stardust or whatever and we can upgrade. 
Gunnery demon. Ooh, you are scary. Why too weak? Bleeding three. Does bleeding go through? Um, 16 damage is high. Let's see what it does. How much damage does 16 damage do? 12. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's two thirds, isn't it? 10 damage and gain a rage. What's panic? All buffs on the target side are reduced to zero. Till the next redraw. Okay. That's good, though. Because I can... Gain zero protection. Why? Is the, oh, it's mine. Gain zero shielded. Ah, okay. Until I redraw. So we can redraw and he's going to get rage one. That's okay. It's fine. Piercing is kind of pointless right now. Delay 15 armor for the next one is nice. This one's probably the best thing we can do, which is... What's panic again? The target's bleeding three. We can take that. And I think that should go through armor, if I'm not mistaken. Um, six damage. Delay 15 armor. I really like that. want to do this we'll go shield it what's revert all the sacrum spells to show the other side shielded two is a lot but we need to we can use wide slash after we use time slash oh no you know what no we want to use this four damage three times or 16 damage let's go for the, the fewer damage it's fine and then we're going to go for a... Ooh. No, we want this. So to get rid of the shield, we'll go bleeding two. Four damage three times. Yeah, we don't want another two shield. That would be bad. However, I want to use this. What does revert again? Reverts all of them to the other side. Now, I want them all to be red. Heal five damage and revert. That's okay, because we'll, we'll hurt him more than that. And we'll weaken him. Why do you guys look the same? And... Yeah, this is not good, but it's okay. Five damage and revert's fine. So that should go back to blue, but then they should all change. Yeah, weird. Very weird. 16 damage, gain a rage. I can take... I can take a panic here, and because we can get the armor back. Shake it up. Master Slash. Shielded two. No, we don't want that. Bleeding three also. Not not bad once again. We can get through it. We can make it through. 11 health left. 15. This will kill him. Dead. All right. Gunpowder, Treason, and Plot. Defeat the Gunnery Demon. Remember, remember the 5th of November. One Marta. Marta status is active. Every time the character loses HP, the rage level is increased by the value of the Marta status. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. But it's, it's HP, so we would have to... And we could be like, you know, 4, 8, 12 damage, but we'd go up by 3 rage. That's really cool, but I wish we could do it more often. I think just another scale armor, honestly. I think this is really good. Can I upgrade something else? I can. Ah, it's not a uh, will. I don't know what will and domination are. Oh, the maximum power of all active damned. Will and domination. The ma limits the number of active damned. What's a damned? Don't know what that means. Don't know what any of it means. What's a damned? What's a goddamn damned? Descend. Heal up a little bit. Fight a normie. 
gutter devil. A hundred life, you say? Why don't we rust to... Or switch to shielded? So there's a switch effect. After the stealth effects are resolved, remove them. Including the switch effect. What? And replace with abuse. What are you talking about, Rust? Okay, so it applies something and then immediately changes it to something else? I don't get that. 13 damage burn dizzy. Ten damage and gain a rage. What is intimidation? Um doesn't tell me what intimidation are. That's good. Why does this guy do 40 damage? When I shuffle the deck. I'm gonna find out what intimidation is now. Uh all debuffs of the tag cards are reduced to zero. Um, no, absolutely. That was... No, wait, what? Debuffs. Ah, so it's this... It's the, the same as... It's the opposite of... Panic. And in Circle, we don't know what that does either, so maybe we need to find out. By just killing ourselves. In Circle... All armor bonuses and attack heads are reduced to zero until the next redraw. Fantastic. That's, that's just great. Um, gain three shielded. I don't know what switch to shielded one means. But I can put rust two on, gain three shielded. And then we'll we'll swap the deck. Why is Victor Cervantes playing the Binding of Isaac Rebirth? He used to make fun of me for playing that game like, like a lot. <laughs> I used to play that game a lot. Did that guy just take 40 damage and I took nothing? Because I had a shielded? Well, we know how to beat this guy. <laughs> well, that's a dumb fight. Just put shielded on and immediately do 40 damage twice. Ah! Alright, um... We're okay here. That's hilarious. <laughs> Shop. Old chest. Oliver Cromwell. Each time you spend soul shards during a battle, gain two shielded. I don't do that. Choose two cards to redraw from your initial <clears throat> from your initial hand. Or Attila the Hun. Each multi-strike attack deals one additional attacks, but gains three building bleeding. I think this is fine. Shop. Let's shop. What's amplify? All buffs on the target by one. Increase the value of all buffs. The only buff I ever really get is, is like shielded and rage. It's nice, but I don't know if it's that good. Replace two cards. What's replace? Discard two selected cards from your hand, then draw new cards. Awesome. A stealth will not trigger an enemy reaction. Oh, it doesn't trigger the enemy reaction at all. Okay, so this is awesome. But I do need another red card to balance it out. So maybe we do want to go with this just because it's so expensive. Maybe it's actually awesome. Here, I do want to remove some cards, right? What don't we like? I think this is not that good, the time slash. Deal 5 damage is fine. 3 damage 3 times, fine. Um, 10 damage, 1 rage. You know what, actually? I guess so. I guess so. Um, 10 damage, 1 rage is good. 2 rage, 2 weak. I haven't been using this too much. But it's another 1 cost. Gain 3 shielded, awesome. Delay 5 counter, It's it's okay. I don't think it matters too much. This is a card that gets out of his deck as soon as we use it, so it's not too bad. We have two of these, but the protection means our armor is even better. So the scale armor, I think, is going to work together. This delay 15 armors also seems good. Three damage two times and apply a week. What was the other one? It was... That's too weak. Yeah. 
If I was going to get rid of one, maybe the delay five counter. So deck size is, is 13. Okay. Because this, this doesn't update. <laughs> this is broken. This should be 13. Shop. Nope. Descend to the boss, I suppose, it looks like. Cerberus. Yeah, this is the same boss. This is the same boss, remember? It's so weird how the game is just totally not even the same. Like, they did a Kickstarter and then we're just like, oh, yeah, this uh, we're going to build this game. It's going to be like this. And then people backed them and they were just like, nah. <laughs> Actually, nah. Um, intimidation and that. Let's do... Gain armor. Piercing and boost two. Boost two. Boost two. Two to its final damage. Doesn't do any damage. So that's interesting. So let's do it anyway. Get protection. And... 13 damage. Shielded three is not good. Five damage, three times revert. What does it mean? Why was it three? Oh, five damage times three. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, apply two weak. Let's do it. Ten damage boost two. Let's weaken this guy. Applying lots of weak. Um, we have protection, but I won't use this until I have more stuff. Like rage. So, bleeding four seems fine. Nine damage, but boost two. So, it does a bit more damage. That's nice. And revert. That's also fine. Delay 15 armor. Five damage three times. I can take that. Oof. And now, gain a rage. This is what we want. Shielded three. Intimidations. Oh, wait. Intimidation is not... Oh, but it goes to bleeding three, so it's okay. And I want to amplify. But first, replace two cards with stealth. I think shielded is what I want, actually. 12 damage boost, two reverts. I don't want to revert. Seven piercing. It's a lot, but three shielded should protect me anyway. Um, in the future, amplify one, bleeding three, that's fine. Cool. All right. Four damage, three times. Shielded three. Well, that's just not going to do anything. So he's going to get three shield. Oh, I guess the, yeah, oh, I guess the shield afterwards. Okay. 13 armor, two protection. Do I get my armor first, and then it hits me? Yep, but I have the shielded anyway, so... Amplify one, also good. Five damage three times, but it's going to destroy my shield, so I don't want to do that. Gain two rage. Eight piercing, but I have I have a shield. But it goes through shield even, okay. Deal 18 damage, gain a rage. That's that's perfect. Shielded 3. It's already got shielded 3, so I'm screwed. I want Amplify. Damn it. Dude, I can't shield anymore. Might die here. I might need to use some soul shards. I want this. So we need to do this. Shielded three. It's no. No, and it's going to revert, so that's the worst thing. Can't do that. We're just going to... We're going to do this. I needed the armor. Five damage three times. That's what we need. But it's going to do five damage three times to me, but I've got shield. Okay. We can amplify again, or we can delay 15 armor. No, we can amplify first. Intimidation. Is 
zero a week. That's fine. Five damage three times. We don't want that yet. But this is okay. What's restore? All Stellos to their default setting. 10 damage boost two. That's okay, because we get the damage in and we have the shield. Again, three shielded, five piercing. God, I can't be taking any more bleed. 22 damage and gain a rage. Um, five damage three times, that's perfect. They've all gone back to red. Um, delay 15 armor. Five damage three times. Nope. Oh, shit. This is not good. I want to take damage. I just don't want it to go directly to me. So, this is fine. Because I want to take armor damage. Fine. Because I want this to kind of proc. Replace two cards. 17 armor, gain two more protection. My two protection so good. 12 damage is totally fine. And I've got all this armor as well. I could just try and get... I could have got that guy to proc like eight times right now, but I just didn't. I'm just getting so much armor, it's going crazy. That's kind of what I'm trying to do now. Gain two rage. I'm just going to keep taking this damage. I need... I need this to happen. Replace two cards. Delay 15 armor. I want to get that again. This is fine. It's not fine. You know what would be great? Um, so in a lot of card games, when you're hovering over something, it'll tell you exactly how much damage gets done. But in this game, it doesn't. It's just like 16 damage, but then you've got to consider your weakness and things like that. Surely I had enough armor to protect from that because also the armor is like 60%. It, you take 60% damage but through your armor, but that just doesn't seem to happen. And I never know what's going on because it happens really fast. It's like, um, I do, you know, 12 damage two times, add a week, and it removes an enemy shield, and it just goes like, ding, 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 boom. And now you're in this new state of combat, and you're just like, what happened? Um, it needs a log so you can see what happens. It needs to tell you what each card does. I mean, obviously, for when you hover over it. And it needs to, the, the tutorial needs to be better. It needs to also um, just don't make me do math, dude. I'm playing a video game. If I want to spend, four, you know, three or four minutes calculating, okay, well, 60% of that is going to do this damage. I've got two weak and it's going to do that. That's kind of how it feels like it's it's doing it to me. Just just show me exactly what will happen. Right? Just, just, just like Monster Train. Show me exactly what it's going to look like if I do this. Um, because the pu that's the puzzle. The puzzle is the card, you know, the deck building and the card play. The puzzle is not calculating damage. That's, it's irritating. Um, but I, I liked it. I don't know why I was told to play this again. I think I preferred the original version where you had three different people because it was like juggling these different characters. It was weird. Um, this just felt like a Slay the Spire. Just weakness and rage. Attack, defense. I mean, the choosing what the enemy does is interesting for sure. That's something that's that's really cool. But I don't think it's that different from a lot of other deck builders out there. Where and I think it did used to be when you had the I know the three characters and you're juggling the different decks and they all had like a certain role to play. I guess like Roguebook, but Roguebook also had like the switching of the characters and stuff. Every deck builder has something a little unique. But yeah, this one felt very classic you know you're on the left side there the enemy's on the right you can attack you can defend you can add weakness and rage that's kind of you know your, your shield your blocks whatever um it was it was cool it was cool i mean i like the theme more than anything else um but this should be coming out this year i wonder how it's gonna do i'm gonna give that one a high three i think i've played so many deck builders we really have to do something to 
get me, really hook me. Uh, and this one's theme is what does it more than anything else. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of confusion. Tutorial didn't even really go over what the armor was, how anything works. There's that little arrow at the top that should flip the Stellas around. I don't know how you, you know, is that something that costs soul shards? It seemed to break the game when I used it. So there's just like little things, little problems with the demo, I guess. The, the, the early access version or whatever it is. They'll get there. It's, it's very cool. Style-wise. Style -wise. 